Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Everything OneNote. Today we're going to go through some updates in regards to the Microsoft Whiteboard integration with OneNote. So I wanted to do this one actually again. We've already done a video on it, but there have been some significant changes to the whiteboard space. And also um, I've gone through this with people before and there is a considered understanding that there's a lot in here that you can already do that's in OneNote. So I wanted to highlight some things that you can't do and why you might like to use the two together. So first of all, yes, things that you can already do. So, you know, looking at my screen here, pens, Kind of a no-brainer we have pens you know we can rub them out as well depending on the version that you're using with one note you will have a ruler as well i can lasso things i can pick them up i can move them around i can insert text as well and type on the screen so a lot of things that are already possible lined backgrounds i think i went through these last time we've got your uh, here We've got your different formattings for your background. So changing colors and grids fully aware a lot of this already exists. So let's go through what you can't do and that you might find really useful in your teaching. So first one yeah, that I really like is let's say this is my lesson here. I've got it lined up, ready to go, you know, three or four possible examples here, which might be modeling different ways or different examples, sorry, of the type of questions that are expected in regards to learning fractions. When we collaborate inside this space, students can actually select an example question and they can choose to vote on it. So I might ask them to vote on the question they found the hardest or the question that they found the easiest and they can actually come in here and they can give that uh, basically like a thumbs up or a you like. How you want to frame that questioning is totally up to you. The really nice, quick way to gain some information back from your students. The second thing that I really like inside this space is sticky notes. Now we have a video on sticky notes and how to make them kind of manually inside of OneNote. But sticky notes are a little bit... Um, I guess the best way is to say incorporated inside of this space as in right down the bottom here I just click on this sticky note tab and there it is there it actually looks like a sticky note it incorporates all the properties we can change the color of that sticky note if we happen to be theming it um, we can edit delete all of our fun things that we want to do are all available so sticky notes are a lot easier to use in this whiteboard space compared to OneNote The other things we have here is when I click this right down the bottom here, this plus button, so the insert menu, is we've got some other things that will pop up. Now, let's just move me out of the way because I'm hiding some things. PowerPoint documents, Word documents, so these guys down the bottom here, you know, nothing too exciting. We know they exist inside of OneNote. What doesn't exist inside of OneNote some of these quick ways to do things like lists and templates. So let me just go to a cleared space on the screen. So let's look at lists first. By all means, I know it's, it's easy to kind of create a, a list in OneNote, but if we're working off the fly, if you're teaching and you think to yourself, we should really create this as a list, this is a really great way of doing it. And it's super simple. You can actually type inside of this space here um, and it's, you know, it's much, much, much more intuitive and reactive to the teaching moment. Our other options here are templates. Now, there are quite a few of templates inside of this space now. So if I quickly decided that I wanted to do some brainstorming or some retrospects or um, what's the one we see quite a lot, KWLs, we see quite a lot and I decide I want to do that with my class. It's nice and simple for me to just tap on this and there it is. Now I do need to, I need to zoom out a bit. Let me zoom out. And there is my KWL template set up, ready to go. I can work inside of this space. I can come in here. I've got a stylus. I can use my stylus, but otherwise, you know, I can, um, I can type inside of this space 
And it's just making life a little bit easier for me as a teacher in regards to getting this information up on the screen, screen sorry, quick and ready to go. So that is down here in our plus menu section to open up some more options there. You do have things like stickers, which we see in OneNote as well. We do also kind of just have this quick note grid, which comes up quite quickly if you kind of want a lot of sticky notes in one go. And you also kind of have this other follow-up list version, which is similar to the previous one as well. And as you can see, we can kind of sort our lists and edit them accordingly. So our benefit as well of this and what we're talking about with OneNote is as long as I have a class notebook set up primarily there through Teams, is that I do have this option that when my lesson is finished, that I can export it to my OneNote. So from here, I'm going to find, I'm in far too many of these, but we're going, this is the one I want here. So I click my class. I'm going to pop this lesson into the content library under maths for term one, and I'm going to send that away. Really brilliant. I'm storing this because it might be initially stored on my device under the whiteboard app. But now if I go into my OneNote and I go content library, mathematics, let's just hope it's going to do it quick. There it is. And then here's my lesson. It's readily available. It's a little bit of a mess because we were doing a bit of a demo here, but it's quite readily available. People, students can see that. This is sitting here as an image, so I can always click to set it as the background. And if I really want to get rid of that link to view the original, I can just select that text and delete it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that update on how to integrate the use of the whiteboard app with your OneNote. Until next time, see you later. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.